Good morning! Welcome to Ordinary Days, where life with God is anything but ordinary. I'm Denise Larson Cooper. Psalm 102.17 offers the following comforting words. He will respond to the prayers of the destitute. Our souls will subsist on a diet of worldly junk food for some time, but eventually the weakness of spiritual malnutrition comes. As our souls faint from hunger, God incarnate arrives and invites us to eat with him. He spreads a table full of grace and truth before us and calls, You who have no money, come and eat. Jesus Christ lived in earthly and spiritual poverty during his days on earth. As the Son of Man, he is the poor you will always have with you to cry for help on our behalf before the Father. He is the advocate for the needy, who are too weak to beg God for sustenance and too frail to reach heaven's provisions. So God the Father sends food for the starving soul in the body of the Son. Look at John 6:57. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. We, the poor, who have no means to alter our impoverished spiritual condition, receive spiritual welfare from the Father through the Son. One of the many miracles of the Incarnation is that God brings a starving soul all the sustenance required for life and health. Jesus said in John 6:55, My flesh is real food and my blood is real drink for the soul. We can continue to feed our starving souls snack foods of sin, or sit at the banquet table of God with Christ. Let's pray. Father God, do not let us settle for food that perishes when you offer us the food of Christ that leads to eternal life. Amen. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.